Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is uh, Muhammad Zamru Zainal. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Today I'm going to share with you on how we're going to choose which material that is suitable for the completion uh, equipment, particularly for production tubing. And uh, if you go to Google, you can type a uh, material selection chart for tubulars. And you can see here OCTG. You can see here OCTG materials, uh, oil, uh, oil, uh, oil country, tubulars, good materials. We can use uh, Nippon uh, Sumitomo manufacturers uh, material selection chart. Okay. And if we go to that website, and here, here we go. This is the chart that we're going to use. And the good thing about the if you use the chart that is coming from the uh, steel uh, uh, tubulars manufacturer it come with their own catalogs for, for, for specific product so you can choose directly which product that you want to use in your field okay basically the input that we need for material selections uh, is uh, this uh, CO2 content in your reservoir fluid in your PVT which coming from PVT we, we also need the H2S we also need the uh, temperature and pressure and to use in this material selection chart we need to convert those uh, CO2 content into partial pressure and how to do it is using this uh, uh, CO2 content that we get for C uh, from the PVT and then we we multiply it with the reservoir pressure because reservoir pressure pro normally is the highest pressure in the in the system okay that's for co2 partial pressure and for h2s h2s uh, can be in a mole percentage in the pvt report or it can be in ppm so this is how we calculate it and in case of uh, for calculating in uh, ppm unit so this is how we calculate it h2s partial pressure if once we have all the information so we are ready to read the chart okay first we start with the co2 and then we refer to these uh, uh, what i call it uh, numbers if the, the our CO2 partial pressure is less than 2 bars, we go this way. If it's higher than 0.2 bar, we go this way. So in our case, it's 0.4, which is higher than 0.2 bar. So we go that way. Now we are evaluating the H2S partial pressure. At this junction, we can see there are several uh, criteria. And our partial pressure for H2S is point zero three point zero three point two here so we will go this way and it, since the, the, the reservoir temperature is uh, 150 so here we go and if you click this point it will bring you to the, to the list of all materials so in this case it's duplex duplex materials and this is where you can uh, further choose which type of uh, product which type of grade depending on your uh, stress uh, analysis and, uh, using a standard uh, burst or collapse uh, uh, analysis that, uh, that, uh, that, is that come together when you want to choose the, the, the thickness of the well uh, the thickness of the of the tubing tubulars and if you click on this particular product then you can see a, a detail of the descriptions basically the reference documentation technical information physical property in case you need it okay and that's all for material selections uh, guideline for your FDP and thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.